Welcome! Are you tired of your slow pacing games and in a desperate need of a bit more speed? Then I got the game for you! Vanquish is a third person shooter from Japan developed by my favorite game developer Platinum Games and directed by the mastermind Shinji Mikami who is responsible for masterpieces such as Resident Evil and God Hand. Just like any other game from Platinum Games, the gameplay is one of the best in the industry but the downside is that the story is an absolute mess like any other game from them. In this game you play as Sam Gideon, a DARPA agent with a heavy smoking problem and probably severe brain concussions as he constantly accelerate and stop with several G's. To be a one man army you are equipped with a RS, the augmented reaction suit which gives you the ability to slow down time and more importantly slide with high speed across the floor. More about it later. Thankfully you are not alone on your mission, you are accompanied by your waifu Elena who is always by your side and gives you moral support and burns with the US army who... who are pretty fucking useless because they never actually manage to kill anything and their only purpose is to get shut down so you can help them up again and get weapons as a reward. Story Our story begins like all good stories should with an attack on America. Mass murder or genocide if you will. The Russians have developed some kind of Death Star and can now shoot lasers from outer space onto the earth. It's more like a microwave beam to be honest. After the attack on San Francisco, they are threatening to attack New York next. The only way to avoid that is to surrender to them. So now we have a reason to start a war. And we all know that war is good for the economy, which we definitely need to improve right now. We are not some pussies so we will stop them by destroying the cannon. But honestly, we couldn't care less because our goal is to get the professor back, who designed the Death Star in our suit. To achieve that, we work together with the US Army and repeat the attack on Normandy and send thousands of soldiers into their death, well knowingly, that only a few will eventually make it. God bless America. Those barbarians known as Russia are so cruel and inhumane that they don't send human soldiers but robots instead. Can you even call yourself a good country if you don't sacrifice constantly human lives? I guess not. Luckily, our spaceship makes it and Sam and the boys arrive at the Russian Death Star. Now we just need to find the professor and get him out of there. Jinji Mikami was very inspired by the Metal Gear franchise, so we need to destroy several Metal Gears and Evangelions on our journey. Obviously, the game has several escort sections, which are definitely fun and not annoying at all. Because who doesn't like to be forcibly slowed down in their game? On our way, we meet the Russian Iron Man and proceed to beat the shit out of him. Naturally, the only thing he can do is run away. Afterwards, you just wacky run around the space station, destroy Russian robots and aircrafts and rescue some marines. Then, out of nowhere, Dr. Manhattan appears and so we proceed to beat up his ass. Obviously, he loses but decides to be a little bitch about it and explodes. And in the process of exploding makes a massive hole in the space station for the little trolling. So we go underground to a zero G zone to close that hole. At first I thought we are somewhere in space right now, but seeing how all the marines are fine without any protective gear, I guess there's still oxygen left. And in a very dramatic scene, where we close the hole in the space station, Burns decides to sacrifice several marines and we split up. We go up and he stays behind. We finally find the professor as he stops the second attack, but then he gets killed by an upgraded Burns. Here we learn that the whole attack was planned by the President of the United States to create a stimulus for the economy. Starting a war just so we can boost the economy seems a bit ethically questionable, but who am I to judge? And that the mission of the US Army is not to stop the second attack, but to use the weapon against Moscow. What an unrealistic scenario, America will never provoke or start a war just to improve their economy. Now that we know the plan of the US Army, our only option left is to kill them all. The fight against Burns takes a while because he keeps sending his gimps away and is constantly running away. After defeating him, he decides to help us for some reason and betrays the army. We are really concerned for his health. It's a real emotional roller coaster, I can tell you that. After leaving him, we stumble instantly again into the Russian Iron Man, but due to mitosis, 
there are now two of them. It's the final showdown, so it's time for an epic anime fight where we go beyond our power and release our limiters. Unfortunately for us, and everyone else on the space station, the Iron Mans were equipped with tactical nukes and they're about to blow up. Bruh. So we do the only thing a true American hero can do. We run away. <laughs> we managed to survive a nuclear explosion and are reunited with Elena. Mission accomplished, I guess. We maybe failed to save a professor, killed everyone, possibly millions, on a space station and let the evil Russian guy escape but I think overall we did a great job. What do you think, Mrs. President? Now that we have the story out of the way, let's talk about the gameplay. Thanks to the augmented reaction suit, you are constantly scraping the floor, but in a good way. Basically, you slide from one cover to the other and keep shooting the bad guys. However, it is way more fun to slide around and kill them by a drive-by instead. The downside of RS is that it can overheat and in this state you cannot go into slow-mo, slide or perform melee attacks because each time you punch or kick someone you do it with enough power to punch the head off. What kind of attack you do depends on your currently equipped weapon and can be a series of punches or backhand pimp slap. This kind of power is also used in the quick time events which just show how old the game is because it came from a time where every game had shitty QTEs but at least they are only used in boss fights and when you get grabbed by these cheap transformer knockoffs. While other games such as GTA 5 use some kind of fantasy dimension pocket for all the weapons you carry around at any given time, it is solved by Science and Vanquish. Sam uses the blade system which basically only consists of a grip of a weapon and the other parts of a gun will be reassembled each time you choose a different gun. It is a mystery to me then why the fuck you are only limited to 4 guns at a time. Speaking of guns. There are a few of them in the game. You have your basic assault rifle, sniper, shotgun, but also more creative weapons like the laser cannon or the LFE gun. You can upgrade these guns by picking up upgrade blocks which are rare or you can receive an upgrade by just having a full loaded gun and picking up the same type again. That's all there is to the depth of the mechanics but it's insanely fun even with this fairly limited gameplay and not every game needs to be so convoluted that you first need to read 30 wiki pages to understand the basic concepts. If you like the old 80s action movies, you will love the cheesy one-liners and the retarded plot, which can be condensed to the sentence Russia attacks the US because they wanted it so to start a war against them and boost the economy. If you can look past the bad story, you will have a lot of fun with this game because the gameplay alone is superb enough to justify its existence. It is a shame that there are no official cheats for this game because it will be awesome to have infinite energy to slide around or slow down time. I would have even settled for an RPG system where you can increase the duration or speed. So please Platinum Games, give me a sequel. But nevertheless, it's an amazing game and I would recommend it to try it out. The game is only 20 bucks but I would advise you to wait for a sale, which are fairly often for this game and then you can get it for 5 bucks and that's a steal. The other option would be to buy a Big Mac for the same price, but it would only give you diabetes and obesity while this game makes you happy and satisfy you for hours to come. Well, at least a few. Because the game is really short, even I managed to beat it in about 4 hours. But you know what they say, it's not about the length, it's about the presentation and performance. I hope you liked this video and have a nice day. Goodbye!